Melbourne's opening day went like clockwork. The sun beamed, the sky was blue, the red carpet was rolled out in time, and honorary Palme d'Or winner Michael Douglas, accompanied by festival director Thierry Fremont, arrived for the photo call, followed by a truly international competition jury, led by Swedish filmmaker Ruben Östlund, Americans Brie Larson and Paul Dano, French director Julia Ducournau, Damien Chiffron from Argentina, Zambian-born Rungano Nioni, Moroccan filmmaker Mariam Tuzani, and Atik Rahimi from Afghanistan. A record number of journalists have been credentialed and 1,000 applicants have been turned down. But the lucky reporters on the red carpet got a glimpse of Francis Grandam, Catherine Deneuve, accompanying her daughter, master of opening night ceremonies, Chiara Mastroianni. In certain regard, jury president John C. Riley, presenter Uma Thurman, and her 21 year old son, Levon Hawk. Mads Mickelson and his wife, and L'Oreal ambassadors Helen Mirren in blue from hair to toe, Al Fanning in regal gold. and Gong Li in menacing black. The main jury had a relaxed evening because the opening night film Jean Dubarry is not in competition. La Comtesse Jeanne Dubarry. Surtout, ne regardez pas le roi dans les yeux. Ce serait perçu par la cour comme une invitation. Une invitation à quoi À la bagatelle. Johnny Depp arrived in great spirits, hoping to resurrect his career with the film that required him to speak and act in French after a bumpy year in divorce court, and proved that his popularity is still going strong. Director-actress Mai Wen's soft take on the 18th century courtesan got quite a long standing ovation. But the greatest applause went to 70-year-old Michael Douglas, who showed up with wife Catherine Zeta-Jones and aspiring actress Dora Carey's to accept the honorary Palm d'Or, putting him in the company of the likes of Jodie Foster, Jean-Paul Belmondo, Forrest Whitaker, James Honda, Alain Delon and others. After the premiere, the cast of Jean Dubarry headed to an exclusive dinner to the newly renovated Hotel Carlton. Stay tuned to this channel, we'll have more on that next time. <laughs>